Uh -huh. You have change. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2019 Europa League winner, Maurizio Sarri, is available for a start with the glass. Congratulations, Sarri. Um, tell us how you feel being a champion and where this will put you as a coach going forward. I am really very happy, but uh, I think that uh, a shirt is uh, is important at the front of the shirt. So uh, the, the the trophy is very important for the club. Then uh, it's less important uh, the back of the shirt, the name of the players, the name of the coach. Of course, the trophy is very important for us because uh, our feeling was that. Uh, we deserved to win because we went in trouble in January, in February. Then we reacted. Premier League is not easy to react because the level is really very high. At the end, we got the Champions League through the Premier League. Not easy. We played the final in League Cup and we qualified against Liverpool and against Tottenham, the finalists of the Champions League. Then we lost uh, uh, by penalties uh, uh, the final against Manchester City. In the Europa League, uh, we played uh, 15 matches. Uh, we won uh, uh, 12 uh, matches and uh, we drew uh, three matches. So I think that uh, we deserve uh, to win the Europa League. It's very important for me, but of course it's, it's very important for us. I'm really very happy with my player, as I said uh, yesterday. Something changed uh, at the beginning of February, I think. We lost 6-0 uh, uh, in uh, Manchester against the city, but uh, we started something different. And so our feeling uh, is that we deserve to win. William Schomburg from Reuters. The first half was very different from the second half. Um, was there a special message that you gave to the players at half time? What was your discussion during the break to bring about such a big change? My feeling in the first half was that uh, the match was really very difficult because uh, uh, we were at uh, the match number uh, 64 of the season. And uh, on the picture there, there was uh, hot. So it was really physically very difficult to play. But my feeling from the bench was that uh, uh, we were trying to manage the result. So at the end of the first half, uh, in the half time, I asked uh, to my players to play with more uh, courage. Uh, also, if... Uh, we could risk uh, to lose, but I wanted uh, a team uh, with more courage uh, for, for moving the ball better. And uh, I think that the, the players uh, did it very well in the second half. We played a very good football uh, against a very difficult uh, opponents because uh, we're in the offensive phase uh, they are really very dangerous in the offensive phase and also in the counter-attacks. And so I think that uh, we, we played a very good football and the match was, uh, was good also for the fans, I think. Hi, Maurizio. Hey. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. Andy. Hello. <laughs> congratulations, many congratulations. Um, we immediately after the game, Eden Hazard has come out and has said that he, it's time to leave. He thinks it's time to go uh, to leave Chelsea. I just wondered, firstly, how long have you known for? Uh, when did he tell you? Um, and also, yesterday you were saying you only wanted to concentrate on the final, but now the final is out of the way. 
Can you give us any clearer indication about your own future, where you see yourself going? The owner of Chelsea is here. You have an opportunity to talk to him. As you know, Hazard uh, is a wonderful player, but uh, you have to spend to spend uh, uh, two, three months to understand him as a man. But uh, when you are able to understand uh, him uh, as a man, uh, he's a wonderful man. I knew, I knew that uh, Adam wanted uh, to leave, of course. But uh, as I said in every press conference, uh, I want to respect uh, his decision. And uh, no, I have to speak to to my club. Uh, the season uh, is finished uh, one hour ago, so uh, tomorrow I I will begin to to speak uh, to my club with the owner or with the director or with Marina. I don't know, but uh, we need to speak, of course, uh, like in every club uh, at the end of the season. Uh, we need to know what the club ca can do for me, what uh, I can do better for the club. And so I need, uh, I need to speak, but I think that also the club need to speak uh, with me. And then uh, in, a couple, in a couple of days we will decide, but uh, I have a contract, so at the moment uh, we are talking about nothing. Can we please continue with the questions, please? Maurizio, just uh, following up on Andy's question, you've said that you want to talk to the club, the club wants to talk to you, you said that you want to stay in the Premier League, but can you just confirm that you want to stay in the Premier League with Chelsea? You know very well that uh, I love the, the the Premier League, the level of the competition. Uh, the, the, uh, I am lucky because I am in Chelsea, one of the best uh, team, one of the best club in the Premier League, in the best uh, championship in the world. So uh, at the moment uh, I am happy. But of course I want to know uh, if the club is happy, if uh, we can improve. It's normal, I think, but uh, I do a discussion with the owner, with the president, with the director uh, after uh, every season uh, in every club. So I think that uh, it's normal. Yeah, congratulations, coach. Um, your fans in Nigeria are very happy. They say I should send their message to you for winning this trophy. Uh, my question would be, if you get, um, uh, do you think, because yesterday you said that you had a very fantastic season, that you won, you qualified for the Champions League, and today you could win the, champ uh, the Europa Cup, and you've won it. Do you think that you deserve to remain as the manager of Chelsea Football Club? I think so, but uh, it's only my opinion. My opinion is not enough. He wants uh, that now. Akreditasyonunuzu sormuş. 
He wrote this. He thought he composed the song. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I can, I can take it and give it to you. If you want, if you want, I can give it to you. This is the level of your CEO. I'll give it to you.